Hello everyone and welcome back to In the Studio with Ophelia. I'm Ophelia and thank you so much for joining me. For today's video, I just wanted to keep things pretty simple. Just an art journal, some paints, some paper, some play. That's what we're gonna do today. Grab your sketchbook, your art journal, <clears throat> whichever one you want to call it, and I'll flip the camera around so that we can start playing. If you like this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. Definitely hit that. Definitely, I would love for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified when I upload to the channel. Um, I will make sure to leave all of the products that I use in the description box. And so, I'll stop talking, flip the camera around, and let's get started playing. Thanks so much for joining me To Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I will see you next time. Bye. With the end of this school year, I completed my 20th year of teaching. And so I thought it would be a great idea to just journal um, and create sort of a note to myself. And, of course, three cheers for summer vacation. So, I've grabbed my Lucas watercolor set. And I'm just going to spend some time building the background. Just splashing some pink and some purple around on this page. And I think that is what is going to, or I should say, I selected these colors so that this would be the basis for the other colors that I chose for the page. I had some paint left over on a palette from something else I was working on, and so that's why I decided to get these colors in particular. So for the acrylic paint, after it's all dried, I used white, titanium white, rose, mauve, turquoise, and Payne's Gray. And now I'm just going to spend some time putting color down, blending everything around, not really too worried about what's going where, other than just filling the space. And I've used a spray bottle with water so that I could blend the colors out a bit easier. And I just want to keep the background pretty soft for right now. While the paint's still wet, I grabbed a number two pencil and I'm just gonna scribble into the wet paint to create some marks. Once that's all dry, I get a palette knife and go in with some of that mauve and then use my Polar Flow brush to just spread it out some. And then I just continue to build the background and just spread the paint around. Whenever I start a journal page, I usually have maybe an idea of color in mind, but really nothing else. And so I just kind of keep it pretty playful, just spreading color, not really even thinking about a lot. So I grabbed a smaller Creative Mark flat brush and that turquoise, and I'm just going to add some paint around. I've got my palette knife here to just kind of add some scratches, I guess, if you will. And where I put the paint down or like made marks, I will grab the pencil and kind of scribble into the mark to spread it around. And then I grabbed some of those alcohol ink papers that I made in a previous video.
and I cut it down using a paper trimmer to start putting some collage, <clears throat> sorry, start putting some collage elements on this page. I grabbed a piece of paper, the flowers that I found on my desk, and then some dictionary paper, and I'm going to use, um, basically just start some collage elements to add other pops of color to this page. I grabbed that box of collage material, decided that I wanted to do some sheet music or something, just to kind of change up um, how it looked on the background. And a lot of times when I pull out that collage paper, that's when I literally start, or that box of collage paper, I always get just overwhelmed by how much I have in that box. And so I start overthinking things a lot. At a point, you just grab your glue stick and start gluing things down. And then I go in for some more collage. Just, again, that box is way too full. Um, I realized that I should not have glued down that piece of alcohol ink paper. Um, but then I just, you make it work. You know, you just... I, you have to stop fretting over it, which you will see me continue to do, um, and just go for it. I know I like that piece of pink circle paper, but then I just can't figure out how I want to make that little piece of gray paper work. Um... And that's where the fretting comes in. It's, you know, I keep <clears throat> auditioning different papers and going back and forth and back and forth. And should I use this? I almost feel as though it's time to just unload that box and offer up more collage sheets. Um, I found this little pad of, it's, they're almost like little thin strips of transparent um, sticky notes. And then it's, you know, I'm now trying to make that work and uh, just glue it down, Ophelia, just glue it down. And so that's what I end up doing. Just you stop fretting, glue things down, let's move on, or I can be here all day. So if you guys want me to offer some collage packs in my Etsy shop, let me know. I get a smaller Ebony Splendor brush that's around and I'm using that spray bottle to add some water to that black and I just added splatters and then grabbed my Jerry's Jumbo Jet black pencil to just kind of scribble around some of the collage elements that I put down. I then add more of the rose paint as well as some of the titanium white just to go around some of those collage bits that I glued down earlier to almost marry them to the rest of the page and then I use my palette knife and some of that black paint or it's Payne's gray paint to um, just go around it a bit more to make it all look as though I didn't necessarily glue it down then I grab some black ink and a pen or dip pen and nib and some Posca paint pens to just add more scribbles and such like that to the page. I am using the black ink as well as the um, nib and dip pen to do some of the journaling. But I do just love using the Posca pens to just kind of doodle and add more scribbles.
whenever it's time for me to actually write or journal on my pages, this is where, gosh, I always just lose my confidence with it, I guess. And so it's, ugh. I'm going to work on my handwriting. I think that's what it, what stops me or makes me slow down in my process. You know, just finishing a page that I like and then being so afraid that my own handwriting is what's going to ruin it, which we all know is just, mm, that's just not even what this is all about. It's, it is your writing and your story. Um, so, but I, I, I'm just going to work on my handwriting. Um, then I use the Posca pens to just keep going and journaling with this page. I always find that I tell each of my students at the end of the school year, even though the school year is done, especially as art students, I always want them to stay curious and never stop learning. And so that's a note that, of course, I need to do for myself. And so that's what this journal page is all about. I then grab just another slip of paper to add to that top corner to make myself another bit of a note. And that's basically how I just wrap this page up. putting some more paint onto that little slip of paper just so everything kind of blends and melds or meshes well together, letting it dry up a tiny bit. I then go in and try <laughs> as best as I can to add a little bit of shadow to separate the words from the background of the page. Again, something I need to work on. I always feel like there's so much more to learn as I learn so many things. Um, but for me, it's all about playing and experimenting and in all honesty, just having fun and just staying curious and just doing this thing that we call art all the time. And so I just kind of use my journal to just kind of play. I was a bit nervous that the alcohol ink paper would kind of smudge. So I just allowed that space some extra time to dry. And then up top here, I just made a little note to self. And I keep on pulling out collage paper <laughs> because we never know when to just call it done. But I think I'll use that as a date for later. And then I found a book of, it's like transparent type papers with flowers. Um... Because again, yeah, Ophelia just has way too many toys and I always want to use the toys before I forget what I have. And so I found that little book of transparent 
flower pieces of paper. And then I find another book of, um, it's butterflies. Because again, you guys, I have way too much paper. So I decided to go with that one just to kind of fill that void of a space. And I do love these are like, it's a little book of sticky back paper stickers type things. And so once I get it all peeled off, that's kind of where I wrap it up. using the Posca pens to kind of scribble it, scribble around it and make it look a part of the background. And that's where we just call it done. Thank you guys so very much for being here today and for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.